Sunset is an angel weeping Holding out a bloody sword No matter how I squint I cannot Make out what it's pointing toward Sometimes Facing the cage. Welcome back to Reality Asserts Itself on the Real News Network. And we're continuing our discussion with singer songwriter Bruce Coburn. Thanks for joining us again. Glad to be with you. So, what's the story behind Pacing the Cage? This is you sounding frustrated. Yeah, trapped, you know, stuck. I mean, it's something everybody goes through sooner or later, and some t hopefully less than more, you know. But uh, um, at this particular point, I was in a situation that I felt it was kind of going nowhere, and and I felt like uh, this is personally, musically. Yeah, personally, not well. No, not musically. No. Because pacing the cage is a wonderful song. Thank you. But uh, the no, I wrote. That song and a, and a song called Night Train, almost at the same time. Not a night nice throw from here, you can hear the night train passing. That's the sound somebody makes when they're getting away. Leaving next week's hanging jewelry far behind them. The prisoner only of the choices they've made. Night Train was a kind of a kind of personal manifesto in a way, but but um, pacing the cage was more a, a lament about just being stuck, and I think the, the um, just looking at where I was and thinking, you know, I I want to get out of this somehow. And I, I one of I had a fan accuse me of of having written a suicide note when he heard that song. Um, it, which it wasn't intended to be at all, but it was certainly an expression of, of there must be some way out of here, <laughs> you know. So, uh, and it was a while before there actually was, but but you know that that was what the song was trying to talk about. And I, you know, I, I mean, I've done this stuff for a long time. I I know when I feel uh, an impulse to write a song whether or not it's likely to have any kind of application beyond my own circumstances. That one obviously did, uh, right from the get-go. And it I should mention, I used it in my film, Hitman Heart Wrestling with Shadows. Sometimes the best map will not guide you You can't see what's round the bend Sometimes the road leads to dark places Sometimes the darkness is your friend Well, Pacing the Cage, of course, had a sp very specific reference for Hitman Hart, the wrestler, because they refer to the ring as the cage, but, uh, which I didn't know when I wrote the song and wasn't thinking about that. But, but I just pictured this a kind of angsty, ennui, feeling of just being in the, being trapped where you are but ha having you put yourself there but in terms of your spiritual religious path you were stuck uh, well i was no that wasn't so much it was it was more day to day th than that but uh i suppose i don't know, I have to i'd have to spend more time than we probably have thinking about it to give you a, a good answer to the spiritual side of it but 
it's 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 basically a plea, I suppose, to to be uh, relieved of the that sense of entra of of being trapped, of, of of pacing the cage. It's like I felt like an animal that's where it doesn't want to be. You catch yourself pacing the cage. When did that stop? Or uh, it well, did stop. It did stop, yeah. It stopped when I got out of the situation I was in, <laughs> which happened later, a little bit later. But uh, um, but it, it just, it's been one of the songs that people have requested a lot uh, over the years since it was released because of, I think, the degree to which everybody goes through that sometime in their life. It's like you've, you get a job, you think it's going to be a great job, and after a while it gets really boring, or it gets really, you know, it weighs on you heavily. And, but much of your life you know. is, is about a search, not just for meaning, but to live a meaningful life. Yeah, and that's it. You felt true. stuck in terms of that? Uh, yes, I felt like I didn't know what to do next, or where to go with it, or what. It's like, I, I felt like I was treading water. There's a pounding in my head. treading water in a, a pond of my own creation, <laughs> but, uh, um, but treading water nonetheless. And it, just, it felt like I, I really wanted a, some relief from that, I guess. That's, that's the feeling that, that the song tries to express. But it's like I've done all this stuff. I've, I've, I've proven who I am over and over again. I've, uh, I've, you know, uh, and at, by the end of the song, I'm sitting there. It's like uh, almost like a scene from a spaghetti western. Where there's just the here comes the stagecoach way in the distance. You know, it's coming this way, and it's eventually it's going to get here, and it's the stage out of here. You know, but it's way over there right now. It's very far away. Sometimes the best map will not guide you. Can't see what's round the bend. Sometimes the road leads through dark places. Sometimes the darkness is your friend. Today these eyes can bleach that land for the cause. I don't know, do you want to talk more about what the situation was? That not, was not especially. <laughs> I mean, it was personal. It was just the, situ it was the, the, the circumstances I was in um, that were the immediate cause of it. But I think anybody going through midlife crisis, for instance, might find themselves feeling the same way. I don't think that's what I was going through at the time. It might have been, but uh, I mean, it might have been bigger than just the immediate situation. Is is my point? But, but certainly, you know, I felt to be a product of, of just the the more recent choices that I had made up to that point. Okay, please join us for the continuation of our series of interviews with Bruce Colburn on reality asserts itself on the Real News Network.